what is going on football fans out there? And usually, usually, I don't make videos <laughs> like this one. I mean, honestly, at all. And I guess I'll go ahead and just stand where I stand at right now is I know a lot of people out there might see me as a shield for maximum. Am I rooting for the game? Absolutely. But the last time I checked, there is nothing illegal <laughs> about that. Uh, you might want to take the information that you get from me with a grain of salt, but I think that's across the board with any YouTuber out there. You know, you should always take their viewpoint with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, whether you like a game or whether you don't like a game, whether you decide to pay for a game or whether you decide not to pay for a game, lands squarely upon your shoulders. Uh, nobody should be out there pandering for somebody to buy a game or nobody should be out there pandering for somebody not to purchase a game. In, in this case, we're talking about maximum football, which there's a lot of misunderstanding out there. And like when I look at it, looks pretty black and white. Um, none of these catchphrases confuse me. I know that Dynasty is Dynasty because, wow, that's crazy. That's what uh, EA calls it, Dynasty mode for their college game. I know that franchise means franchise mode. You know, bro. Uh, I don't see where we're all like mixed up. We don't know what the hell's going on here. It's such a crazy outrage. Was the rollout a little bit crap on it? Absolutely. Is that going to affect some of the sales? Absolutely. But. For a game to be free, when you're getting uh, a sample of somebody's work, okay, for free, mind you, people went and clocked in, worked on this game like you work at your job, and when you leave your job, you expect some kind of compensation. It's not like you just gathered up a whole bunch of people. It's like, hey, man, let's... Uh, bleed three years of our lives into this and if it doesn't work out oh well company goes under i don't get paid that's crazy talk i'm just going that's crazy talk uh for people that want to even compare this to buying equipment inside of a madden game that's it's a totally different thing i've already paid to have this game and i would then find it offensive if you decided to sell me gear or whatever in the game after I've already paid for said game. But yet, let me make myself clear here, this game is free. So if they're gonna charge me a little bit for this here and that there, but I'm allowed to make whatever type looking team I want to outside of you know, we already know the bells and whistles are going to be the face mask and whatever. And if any of you guys are familiar with, uh, it's probably a bad uh, comparison, but Destiny. But Destiny has bright dust in it and it has silver. I'm sure that Maxima will have something like that. And also with the customization suite, you will be able to download creations from other players in the game. So that will be up there for your access. I'm sure that there won't be any charge behind it. But ultimately, to think that somebody does not deserve compensation for time spent in producing said product and then expect continue, continued development on said product, I'm just going to ask you, with the what effing money? Like, really? Like, what are we talking about here? With the what money do we expect continued development on this game now there's things that you can split hairs with there's things that you might not like there's things that you might like but i mean i that's with everything in life i don't know two people that walk around that are like dyads of each other um but i just wanted to get this out into the ether because there's a lot just it's insanity with what's going on 
around this obscure game, Maximum Football. I cover it on our channel because I enjoy the game. Found out about it uh, years ago on another YouTuber's channel. Started following the game myself. And this goes all the way back to, I can't remember, 2016, 2017, whenever um, Maximum started out. And I'd heard about it a little bit before because it was kind of a successor to front page sports football which went down in 99 and uh actually when we get our studio I, i'm gonna have my brother on because he actually was in a beta way back then but anyways i'm getting off on a tangent uh everybody just hold on to your horses you're gonna find out whether you like the game or not come november 7th it's the proof will be in the pudding all the talk and the chatter doesn't matter it's like uh, me being an old coach. It's like shit talking before a game. Both teams say that they're going to win. But what ultimately matters is what happens that Friday night, that Saturday afternoon, that Sunday afternoon on the field. And we will see whether this game stands upon its own or falls upon its own without any intervention from any of us. It will be whether you individually enjoy the game or not and does it deserve your further support does it deserve money from you will you be saying okay this is worth the dynasty edition okay is this worth the legend edition and once we get in it find out how it functions and what is your enjoyment out of the game but just want to get this out into the ether gone on way too long but until next time it's been smoking jay and i will see you either in the ring or on the field.